いないんですか
And away, exhale, fold forward, go down. Trini, inhale, send the chest up and forward. Chatwari, exhale, jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Bend your elbows, go down. Pancha, inhale, come forward, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Again, we'll stay here for five breaths, tuning in to the inner space. Let your breath be an avenue into the inner body. Let there be an even distribution of weight between the hands and the feet and between the right side and the left side of the body. Keep your gaze gently tucked under, either gazing towards your knees or in the direction of your navel. Remember to make emptiness deep in the center of the pelvic bowl. Letting the sun salutations drop your mind down into the deepest inner experience. Switching your gaze forward, Sapta, inhale, jump forward, looking up. Ashto, exhale, fold forward, go down. Nava, inhale, stand all the way up, press your palms, Samasthitihi. Last one. A, come inhale, raise your hands, press the palms. Dwe, exhale, fold forward, go down. Trini, inhale, lift your chest, look up. Chatwari, exhale, jump all the way back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha, inhale, come forward, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Keeping the belly drawn in, let your mind go into a peaceful place of equanimity. Spreading your fingers, a natural distance apart, not too wide, not too close. Your mind remains calm as increased heat, fire, and circulation come into the body, moving through the sun salutations with ease and flow, not forcing yourself, not pressurizing yourself, simply breathing and beating with your body, lengthening and deepening every breath, tuning in. Switch your gaze forward, Sapta, inhale, jump your hips over the hands, slowly lowering down. Switching the gaze, Ashto, exhale, fold forward. Nava, inhale, come on back up, press your palms, gaze up at the thumbs, Samasthitihi. Now we begin Surya Namaskar B, bend your knees, A, come inhale, Dwe, exhale, fold forward, straightening the legs as you go down. Trini, inhale, send your chest forward. Chitwari, exhale, jump all the way back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Pancha, inhale, come forward, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, right side, step all the way forward to warrior one as you raise the arms, look up at the thumbs. Ashto, exhale, step all the way back to Chaturanga. Nava, inhale, upward facing. Dasha, exhale, downward facing. Left side, A, Kardasha, inhale, step forward. Raise the arms, press the palms, look up to the thumbs. Dwadisha, exhale, step all the way back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Prayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Shikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. Settle into downward facing for five breaths, regulating the pace of your breath. Avoid hanging too much in the shoulders and avoid rounding your back. Instead, just feel the pivot through the hip joints and let your spine release out of the pelvic bowl. Keep your shoulders active and your mind calm, feeling a long, clean line of connection from your feet to your hips. Looking forward, pancha dusha, inhale, jump your hips over the shoulders, slowly lowering down. Shodisha, exhale, fold forward. Bend through the knees, sink into the hips. Saptadisha, inhale, press your palms, the gaze at the thumbs. Samasthitihi. And again, bend your knees deeply. A, come inhale, raise the hands. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, send your chest slightly forward. Chatwari, prepare the shoulders to jump all the way back. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, suck the belly in. Shat, exhale, roll back. Sapta, inhale, step forward. Virabhadrasana, A, sink into your right hip joint, hands up. Ashto, exhale, strong shoulders, firm core, lower down. Nava, inhale, upward facing. Dasha, exhale, downward facing. 
left side. A Kadisha, inhale, step forward, Virabhadrasana. A left side, arms up, palms press. Dwadisha, exhale, all the way down. Trayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. Settling into downward facing for five breaths. Regain the calm, even center of your mind and regulate your breath. You'll notice that the cardiovascular system turns on as we settle into Surya Namaskar B. Allow your breath to be long and deep. Your awareness to be underneath the skin, down into the inner body. Tune into your strength, your flexibility, pressing up from the shoulders. Here we go. Panchadisha, inhale, hips over the shoulders, slowly lowering down. Shodisha, exhale, fold forward. Bend through the knees, sink into your hip joints. Saptadisha, inhale, press your palms. Return to Samasthiti. Last one. Ekam, inhale, bend your knees, arms up. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Straight legs go down. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Jump back to Chaturanga, keeping your shoulders strong and the core engaged. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Right side, warrior one. Sapta, inhale, all the way forward. Make sure your back heel is down. Gaze at the thumbs. Ashto, exhale. Step all the way back, chaturanga. Nava, inhale, upward facing. Dasha, exhale, downward facing. Left side, A, Kadisha, inhale. Step forward, raise your arms. Gaze up at the thumbs. Dwadisha, exhale, all the way back to Chaturanga. Trayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. Finding a calm, even place of your breath. Tuning your mind into the inner body. Five of your own breaths in downward facing. You may notice that you're here for a few more or a few less as you follow along. Slowly start to regulate your breath, bringing your attention down in the inner body, letting your breath be a vehicle of inner experience. Switching the gaze forward, Panchadisha, inhale, jump your hips over the shoulders. Shodisha, exhale, fold deep into the hips as you go down. Bend your knees, sink down into your thighs. Saptadisha, inhale, press your palms. Samasthiti. Moving into the standing poses, Padangustasana. Move your feet hips width apart, fold forward, hold on to your big toes. E, come inhale. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Every inhalation creates space deep in the center of the body. Every exhalation takes you a bit deeper into that space. Empty out the pelvic bowl. Spread your shoulders. Gaze at the nose tip. Draw your ribs gently towards each other to help facilitate entry into the forward fold. Trini, inhale. Step your hands underneath your feet. Padhasthasana. A, come inhale. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Keep the belly drawn in and press the weight into the bases of the big toes, tipping ever so slightly forward with the sacrum. Gaze still at the tip of the nose. The legs are engaged, releasing the muscles of the back. Trini, inhale, look up and forward. Exhale. Samasthitihi, release your hands, come all the way back up. Uttita Trikonasana A. A, come inhale, step out to the right, spread your arms. Dwe, exhale, turn your right foot out, wrap your fingers around your right big toe, and extend the left arm upward. Gaze steady at the left fingers. Engage the inner thighs, pull back deeply into the right hip joint. Belly sucks in. Avoid arching or flexing the spine forward. Work with the neutral spine, thrust into your right foot, Trini, inhale, come up, turn the right foot in and the left foot out. Chatwari, exhale, bend into the left hip joint, wrap your fingers around the left big toe, gaze upwards towards your right fingers. Align your shoulders with each other, moving the shoulder blades both down the back and away from each other. Soften through the neck and avoid squeezing too much with any part of the body. Instead, find the appropriate level of activation, the appropriate level of inner awareness. Moving into Utita Trikonasana B. 
Dway exhale, square your hips, taking the left hand down on the outside of the right foot. Switch your gaze up and gaze at the right fingertips. Every inhalation makes space deep into the inner body. Every exhalation, draw the rib cage in towards the center line, keeping the hips as level as possible, calming the mind, tuning deeply into the inner body. Trini, inhale, come up, turn, square the hips forward, moving into the left side. Chatwari, exhale, right hand down, aligning the fingers and toes, switching the gaze up to the left fingers. Belly sucks deeply in. Inhale, make space, pulling the rib cage away from the hips. Exhale, twist the rib cage to move into that space, finding and feeling the center line. Gazing at the left fingers, moving deeply into the inner body. Pancha, inhale, come all the way up, and samasthitihi, back to the center. Utita Parsva Konasana A. A, come inhale, step out to the right, spread your arms. Dway, exhale, bend your right knee down over the right ankle, taking the right hand to the floor, extending the left arm. Let your whole left side body be in a long, clean line. Let your torso fold down around the outer edge of your right thigh. Belly sucks in. Gaze steady at the left fingertips. Trini, inhale, come up. Chatwari, exhale, pivot around to the left side. Left hand down, right arm reaches overhead. Drop your right armpit down as much as you can, aligning the shoulder. Belly sucks in, draw the rib cage gently in towards the center line. Gaze is steady at the right fingers. Calm, even pace of your breath. Feel the strength and solidity of the legs. Pancha, inhale, come up. Parsvakonasana B. Dwe, exhale, twisting the body by folding your torso around the outer band of your right thigh. Extending the left arm, dropping that left armpit towards the chin, gazing at the right fingers. Calm, even, steady pace of your breath. Keep the belly drawn in. Keep the legs strong, fold down into the emptiness behind the right hip joint. Trini, inhale, come up, pivot around, left side. Chatwari, exhale, fold the torso around the outer edge of the left thigh, planting those right fingertips down, spiraling through the center line, gaze upwards towards your left fingers. Feel your rib cage twisting and pivoting around the center line of the body as your legs remain solid and planted into the ground as your foundation. Pancha, inhale, come up. Samas Titihi, back to the center. Prasarita Pado Tanasana A. E, come inhale, step out to the right. Dwe, exhale, feet parallel, hands on the ground. Again, inhale, straighten the arm, shift your gaze forward. Trini, exhale, bend the elbows, fold forward. Top of the head on the ground, fingertips pressing into the ground. Pivot your pelvis slightly forward. You can slide your hands back if that's comfortable for you, but no stress. Gaze at the tip of the nose, draw the elbows in towards each other. Chatwari, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Pancha, inhale, hands to the waist as you come up, and exhale. B position. E, come inhale, spread your arms. Dwe, exhale, hands to your waist. Again, inhale. Trini, exhale, fold forward, top of the head again on the ground. Make sure your hands stay on the waist, gaze at the nose tip. Your legs are engaged, activate the inner thighs so you can still feel the center line. Belly sucks as deeply in as possible, making space down in the center of the pelvic bowl. Gaze at the nose tip. Chatwari, inhale, come all the way back up and exhale. C position. A, come inhale, spread your arms. And wait, exhale, interlock the fingers, straight arms behind your back. Again, inhale. Trini, exhale, fold forward. Relax the shoulders towards the ground. Avoid pulling tightening or squeezing too much with the fingers. Instead, simply let the shoulders find their space of release, gazing at the nose tip, leaning gently forward with the hips, calming the mind only when you're ready, flipping the grip so you can bend your elbows, moving into a deeper internal rotation of the shoulders, spreading the shoulder blades away from each other, calm, even pace of your breath. Chatwari, inhale, come all the way up and exhale. Hands to your waist. E, come inhale, make space between the ribs and the hips. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. 
Wrap your fingers around your big toes. Straight arms again. Inhale. Trainee, exhale. Fold forward. Top of the head towards the ground. Elbows point up to the ceiling. Drawing the belly deeply in. Slide the torso between the thighs. Lift your kneecaps. Press your weight down to the bases of your big toes. Lifting your toes slightly off the ground. Keep your arms engaged. And let the mind remain calm, even, steady and equanimous. Chatwari inhale, straight arms, exhale. Pancha inhale, come on back up, place your hands on your waist. Samasthitihi, come on back up to the front. Parjvotanasana, hands in prayer behind your back. Find that place where the heels of the hands press into each other. Ekam inhale, step out to the right side, squaring your hips. Dwe exhale, send your sternum down to your right knee as you pull the pubic bone back. As much as you fold forward, fold back into the inner space of the pelvis. Shift your weight a little bit forward towards the right foot to create a sense of evenness in your pelvic bowl. Press the heels of the hands to each other and lift the elbows slightly. Gaze forward towards your right toes. Trini, inhale, come up, pivot your feet, move over to the left side. Chatwari, exhale, fold your sternum down to your left knee, pressing the heels of the hands into each other, gently lifting the elbows. Feel your torso release down over your left thigh, while at the same time, you pull back into the emptiness of the pelvic bowl, making space behind your left hip joint, making space by sucking the belly as deeply in as possible, making space behind the pubic bone, keeping the legs strong. Pancha, inhale, come up, release your hands. Samasthitihi, come on back up to the front. Now on to the balancing poses. Uttita Hasta Parangustasana. Hands onto your waist, right arm reaches out. Ekam, inhale, right leg lifts, hold on to your right big toe. Dwe, exhale, fold your sternum forward to your right knee, maintaining balance. Traditionally, the gaze is forward to the toes, but if you lose your balance, just look at a spot on the ground. Pull your right hip back. Trini, inhale, come up. Chatwari, exhale, externally rotate your right hip joint, move over to the side. Switch your gaze slightly to the left, maintain balance by pressing into the base of your left big toe, the left little toe, and the heel. Straighten your leg, finding the center line. Pancha, inhale, slowly bring your leg back to the center. Shut, exhale, fold forward. Sapta, inhale, lift your head, release your foot, hands to your waist. Lifting the leg for five breaths. Pull your hip back, use your lower abs, gaze at your toes and talk to your toes. Yes, you can, you can keep it up. Exhale, come on back to Samasthitihi. Let's go for the left side. Ashto, inhale, left leg, pulling the left hip back. Nava, exhale, fold your sternum towards your knee. Staying here for five breaths, maintaining a sense of balance first and foremost. Balance comes with a calm mind as you pull that hip back. Dasha, inhale, head up. Ekadisha, exhale, bring the leg out to the side through an external rotation of your left hip joint. Switch your gaze slightly to the right. You could even look over your right shoulder. Belly sucks deeply in. Maintain balance with your center of gravity deep in your pelvic bowl. Calming the mind, tuning into the inner body. Dwadisha, inhale back to the center. Trayogdisha, exhale, fold forward. Chikturdisha, inhale, come up. Hands to your waist, balance. Gaze at your left toes, pull that hip back. Suck in the low belly, engage the lower abs. Talk to your toes, you can do it. Come on, stay up, don't give up. Exhale, samasthitihi, good job. Ardhapada Padmottanasana. A, come inhale, right leg moves into half lotus position. Bind your foot by reaching around your back. Dwe, exhale, take your left hand to the floor, aligning your fingers and toes. Chin to the shin, gaze forward towards your left toes. Draw the belly deeply in and pull the pelvic bowl back and away from your lotus foot. Let your balance be established from an even distribution of weight through the pelvic floor. Trini, inhale, look up. Exhale. Chatwari. Inhale. Slowly come all the way back up. And pancha. Exhale. Samasthitihi. Left side. Shot. Inhale. Left leg. Half lotus position. Reach the left hand to the left foot behind the back. Sapta. Exhale. Fold forward. Spiraling through the inner body as you lift the ribcage up and over your lotus foot. 
If possible, chin to the shin, gazing forward. Five deep breaths. Keep your balance through your center of gravity. Balance deep through the inner body. Ashto, inhale, look up and forward. Exhale, firm the pelvic floor. Nava, inhale, come on back up. Samas, Thitihi, back to standing. E, come inhale, raise your hands, gaze up at the thumbs. Dwe, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, look up. Chatwari, exhale, jump back to Chaturanga Dandasana as you bend your elbows lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing. Shat, exhale, downward facing. Utkatasana, Sapta, inhale, jump forward, bending the knees deeply into the body as you sink into the hips and raise your hands following the center line of the body. We'll stay here for five breaths, sinking deep into your hip joints, squeeze your knees into each other, gaze up to the thumbs. Regulate the pace of your breath, calm, even, steady pace of your breath. Feel and activate the thighs, sink into your hips, exhale down. Ashto, inhale, pick it up by moving your shoulders forward. Nava, exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. A, kadisha, down. Right side, warrior one, virapajrasana, A, supta, inhale, come forward. We'll stay here for five breaths. Look up to the thumbs. Stack the ribs over the hips, hands over the shoulders. Eventually moving your right thigh towards parallel with the ground. Calm, even pace of your breath. Feel the strength and solidity of the legs underneath you. Inhale. Ashto. Exhale, left side. Virabhadrasana A, pivoting over to the left side. Aligning the hips forward. Track that left knee over the left ankle. Gaze up to the fingers. Belly sucks deeply in. Inhale. Nava, exhale, warrior two, left side, spread your arms, equalize the sitting bones, look over to your left fingers, calm, even pace of your breath, belly sucks as deeply in as you can, lifting the ribs away from the hips, inhale, dasha, exhale, pivot over to the right side, spread your arms, remember that back left arm and equally lift it, keeping your gaze at the right fingers, Calm, even, steady pace of your breath. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can. Exhale, hands down. E Kardisha, inhale. Dwadisha, exhale, Chaturanga. Prayogdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. Prepare for the seated poses. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward, coming through to seated. Dandasana position. Hands next to the hips, chin down, moving the sitting bones so that they make contact with the ground. Flex the feet, bases of the big toes together, chin down, gaze at the nose tip. Keep sucking the belly as deeply in as possible, calming the mind. Rooting your attention down into the inner body. Dandasana, like seated samasthitihi, is a neutral resting point to begin every seated pose. From here, we're moving on to Pashimatanasana. Look forward, hold on to your big toes. Ashto, inhale, straighten the arms, suck in the belly, make space. Nala, exhale, fold forward. Suck in the belly, pivot in through the hips. Let the shoulders relax and open. Avoid pulling too hard with the arms. And instead, simply regulate your breath. Make space by sucking in from the low belly. Dasha, inhale, straight arms. Deepen your grip, holding the wrist if that's accessible. Asho, inhale. Nava, exhale, fold. For this one, we can try chin to the shin. But if it ever strains your neck, just drop the chin under. Gazing forward to the toes only when that's comfortable for you. The legs are engaged, the belly sucks as deeply in as possible. Slow, steady pace of inhalation. Dasha, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Hands to the ground, cross your feet. Ekadasha, inhale, take it up. Dwadasha, jump back. Trayogdasha, inhale. Chikturdasha, exhale. 
Purva Tanasana. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. And this pose is also sometimes called reverse plank. Take your hands back behind you. Ashto, inhale, take the hips up and forward. Toes are on the ground. Internal rotation of the hip joints. Lift the chest and keep the belly sucked as deeply in as possible. Nava, exhale down. Cross your feet. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, jump back, go down. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Dvayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Ardhavada Padma Pashimatanasana. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Right leg folds into half lotus position. Prepare by binding the right foot with the right hand, left foot to the left hand. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. Move your sternum down towards the left knee and suck the belly in. Gaze forward towards your left toes. Remember to keep that left leg as engaged as possible. Keeping the belly drawn in, dropping that right shoulder into internal rotation. Make peace with wherever you are. Don't fight with your body. Accept however deeply or not so deeply you got into the pose. Nava, inhale. Come on up. Exhale. Hands to the ground. Dasha, inhale to get up. Ekadisha, jump back. Dwadisha, inhale. Trayogdisha, exhale. Moving on to the left side. Chikturdisha, inhale. Jump all the way forward and through. Bending your left knee, close the knee joint, spiral, external rotation into lotus position. Left hand to the left foot, right hand to the right foot. Panchadisha, exhale, fold forward. Keep the belly drawn as deeply in as possible, making space behind the pubic bone. Lift the ribcage up and over your lotus foot, tuning deeply into the inner body. Avoid pulling or forcing the body. Simply breathe and be. Shodisha, inhale, exhale, hands down. Saptadisha, inhale, take it up. Astadisha, jump back. Ekuna, vim shatahi, inhale, vim shatahi, exhale. Tirdiang, mukekapada, pashimatanasana. Sapta, inhale, jump forward. If it's accessible, moving directly into the pose. Bend the right knee back, holding your wrist, straight arms. Ashto, exhale, fold. Internally rotating both hip joints allows you to enter this pose safely. Think about pulling your right hip joint back and moving deeply into the inner body. Feel a sense of deep inner connection. Never look for perfection, but simply build deep mindful awareness. Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale. Trayogdasha, exhale. Left side, Chikturdasha, inhale, jump your hips over your shoulders and prepare to come all the way through for the left side. Wrap your hands around your right foot, inhale. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. Keep your right leg engaged, spreading your toes slightly. Make sure the left toes are pointed and both hip joints spiral into internal rotation. Building a calm state of inner awareness. Mindful breath. Be mindful of the whole body. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale. Saptadisha, inhale, take it up. Astadisha, jump back. Ekuna, vimshatihi, inhale, upward facing. Vimshatihi, exhale, downward facing. Jhana, shashasana, A. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Preparing for the right side. Close your right knee joint, drop it out to the side, bringing your heel in close to the groin. Binding your hands around your right foot. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold forward. As you fold forward with your torso, pull back from the inner spaces of the pelvis, aligning your sternum forward to the left knee, feeling that external rotation of your right hip joint. Squaring the pelvis as much forward as possible. Breathe, calm, tune into the inner body. Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Hands to the ground, prepare, cross your feet. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, jump all the way back. Dwadisha, inhale. 
Prayo, Disha, exhale. Left side, Chick Tour, Disha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Moving into your shoulders, straightening the legs, preparing for the left side. Close the left knee joint, drop it to the side, heel close to the groin. Wrap your hands around your right foot, inhale, prepare. Pancha Disha, exhale, fold. Keeping your attention down into the inner body. Right leg is super engaged as you pull into the empty space of the pelvic bowl. Calming the mind, dropping your attention deeply down. Gaze forward towards your right toes. Shodisha, inhale, exhale. Hands down, cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale to get up. Astadisha, jump back, go down. Ekuna vimshatihi inhale, vimshatihi exhale. Janu Shashasana B. Sapta inhale, jump your hips forward and over the shoulders, slowly moving all the way through. Preparing for this pose by bending the right knee, dropping it out to the side. Pick your hips up and settle the heel on the perineum, in between the genitals and the anus. Reach forward, wrapping your hands around your left foot. Inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. And make sure your left sitting bone is off the ground. And pay careful attention to that activation deep in the pelvic bowl. Keep sucking the belly as deeply in as you can to protect that left hamstring. Nava, inhale, straight arms, roll back, hands to the ground, cross your feet. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, jump back, chaturanga. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Chikturadisha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Moving through the shoulders, preparing for the left side. Bend the left knee, drop it out to the side. Pick the hips up, and remember to settle the pelvis right onto the heel. Wrap your hands around your right foot. Panchadisha, exhale, fold. Keep the belly sucked in. Your sternum lines up with the right knee, while that left hip spirals back and down. Make sure the right sitting bone is both elevated and pulling back. Belly sucks in. Make sure the pelvic floor is deeply activated. Shodisha, inhale, straight arms, exhale, hands to the ground. Saptadisha, inhale, cross your feet, take it up. Astadisha, jump back, chaturanga. Ikuna, vimshatihi, inhale, vimshatihi, exhale. Janushashasana, C. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward, hips over the shoulders, slowly come on through. Bend the right knee, spread the toes, dropping the knee to the side, then get all five toes planted on the ground, rolling through the external rotation of the hip joints. Straighten the arms, inhale, prepare. Ashto, exhale, fold. Never force the right knee down. Instead, let it be however it wants to be. Focus on spiraling through the right ankle, making sure all five toes are on the ground. Reach the heel into the inner regions of the pelvis, maintaining a sense of emptiness behind the pubic bone. Nava, inhale, straight arms, exhale. Dasha, inhale, cross your feet, take it up. Ekadisha, jump back, chaturanga. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Left side, chikturdisha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Preparing for the left side, bend the left knee, left toes on the ground, spiral it out. Slowly working through the ankle, never force the knee. Straighten the arms, panchadisha, exhale, fold. Drop your attention down into the inner body. Sternum lines up with the right knee, maintaining a sense of emptiness. Squaring the hips forward, belly draws deeply in. Remember to accept your foot for wherever it gets to. Never force, never judge. Just be. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale. Hands down. Saptadisha, inhale. Dig it up. Astadisha, exhale. Jump back. Go down. Ekuna, vimshatihi. Inhale, upward facing. Vimshatihi, exhale, downward facing. Marichasana A. Sapta, inhale, jump your hips over the shoulders, 
and prepare to come all the way through. Let it take the time it takes. Bend the right knee up. Roll the right shoulder forward and around. Bend the elbows. Hold your hands behind the back. Prepare. Ash to exhale. Fold forward. Keep the belly drawn in, and as much as you fold forward, keep sending the right hip back and down. Your right sitting bone remains elevated, but keep it grounded. Keep the belly drawn deeply in, and internally rotate your shoulders. Avoid dumping your weight over onto the left side. Nava, inhale, come on back up. Exhale, release your hands. Ndasha, inhale, cross your feet, take it up. Ikadisha, jump back, go down. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdisha, exhale, downward facing. Chekturdisha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Rolling through the shoulders as you straighten the legs out. Prepare for the left side. Bend the left knee, that little bit of space between the foot and the thigh. Internal rotation of the shoulders, hands hold behind the back. Inhale, prepare. Pancha disha, exhale, fold forward. Keep the belly drawn deeply in as the sternum reaches forward towards the right knee. Send that left hip back. Belly sucks deeper in. Keep the right leg engaged, squaring the hips towards the back as much as possible. Sternum reaches forward to counterbalance backward with the hip. Shodisha, inhale, come up. Exhale. Cross your feet. Saptadisha, inhale, take it up. Astadisha, exhale, jump back, go down. Ekuna, vimshatihi, inhale, upward facing. Vimshatihi, exhale, downward facing. Marichasana B. Sapta, inhale, jumping into the shoulders, crossing the feet, slide it through. Prepare for the right side by starting off with left leg half lotus position. Safely and comfortably move into half lotus. Bend the right knee up, modify if necessary. Drop the right shoulder forward and around, hands behind the back, prepare. Ash, though exhale, fold forward. Both sitting bones will be off the ground as you move the sternum forward and send the hips back. Calming the mind as you tune into the inner body. Drop the chest forward. Belly sucks as deeply in as possible. Lifting the ribs up and over the hips. Nava, inhale. Exhale. Hands down. Cross your feet. Dasha, inhale. Take it up. Ikadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale, upward facing. Trayogdasha, exhale, downward facing. Left side, Chaktur Disha, inhale, jump all the way forward and through. Let it take the time it takes, use your core, use your shoulders. Right leg half lotus position, modify if necessary. Bend the left knee up into the chest, slide it forward, both sitting bones off the ground. Hands hold behind the back to prepare. Sucking the belly in, Pancha Disha, exhale, fold. Calm, even pace of your breath. You may be feeling tired. Talk to yourself. You can do it. Keep the breath as your center. Keep sucking the belly deeply in. Connecting down into the inner body. Shodisha, inhale. Exhale. Hands down to the ground. Saptadisha, inhale. Cross your feet. Take it up. Astadisha, jump back. Ekuna, vimshatiki, inhale. Vim Shadhi exhale. Mari Jasana C. Sapta inhale, jump forward, keeping the weight into the shoulders, slowly all the way through. Bend the right knee up into the body, prepare for the twisting pose. Both sitting bones on the ground for this one. Exhale, as you fold your torso around your thigh, wrapping your left elbow around the right shin, find your fingers, find your wrist, look over the right shoulder. Calm, steady breathing, don't force. Lift the chest up and away from the hips. And then each time you exhale, draw the rib cage in towards the center line and spiral all the way around. Stabilize the left leg, keep it active, root the left heel into the ground, keeping a sense of foundation in your pelvis. Inhale, exhale, back to the center. Hands down, cross your feet, ashto, inhale, take it up. Nava, exhale, jump back, go down. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ikadisha, downward facing. Left side, prepare. 
Dwadisha. Inhale, jump your hips forward, slide it all the way through. Prepare for the left side. Left knee up into your chest. Exhale, as you fold your torso around to the left side, drop the right elbow around the left shin. Internal rotation of the right shoulder. Hold on to your fingers, your wrist. If you get your wrist, you can take those left fingers on the top of the right thigh. Look over the left shoulder, ground both sitting bones. Belly sucks deeply in, lifting the ribs away from the hips, spiraling through the center line. Calm your mind. Keep a sense of endurance, a sense of stamina. Inhale, exhale back to the center. Hands down to the ground, cross your feet. Trayogdisha, inhale, take it up. Trikturdisha, jump back. Panchadisha, inhale, upward facing. Shodisha, exhale, downward facing. Marichasana D, Sapta, inhale, jump through. Prepare your mind, calming the body. Left leg half lotus position, take it easy, modify the lotus if necessary, right knee up into the chest. You might do this with both sitting bones off the ground, only when you feel the flexibility. Eventually you can wrap your left elbow around the right shin while planting both sitting bones. If you have both sitting bones, do not force the left knee down. Simply use that as your foundation as you spiral through the center line. Calm, steady breathing. Keep your weight pushing forward. So you lift forward and up, maintaining a sense of balance deep in the pelvic bowl. Inhale and exhale. Come on back to the center. Come on out. Hands down, cross your feet. Ashto, inhale, take it up. Nava, jump back, go down. Dasha, inhale, upward facing. Ikadisha, exhale, downward facing. Left side, Dwadisha, inhale, jump forward into your shoulders, come on all the way through, preparing for the left side, which means right leg half lotus position, slowly move through that external rotation, bend the left knee up into your chest, both sitting bones on the ground only when you're ready, otherwise come forward, and then exhale as you fold your torso around the outer edge of your left thigh, wrapping the right elbow around the left shin, hold your finger or your wrists, gazing over the left side. It's a little harder to breathe here, but try anyway. Lengthen and elongate your breath, keeping the breath even and equal in pace and measure. Calming the mind. Forgive yourself however you did. That was great for today. Hands down. Trayogdisha. Inhale, cross your feet. Take it up. Chikturdisha. Jump back. Go down. Panchadisha. Inhale. Shodisha. Exhale. Navasana. Sapta. Inhale. Jump your hips over the shoulders. Slowly slide it all the way through. Legs right up. Arms up. Hands same height as the shoulders. Gaze towards your toes. Belly sucks in. Keep a calm, happy, joyful spirit. Tuning into the inner body. Keep the belly sucking deep in. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Take it up. Sapta again. Navasana. This is the boat pose. Be sure not to let your boat sink. Belly sucks as deeply in as you can, making space behind your pubic bone. Calming the mind. If there's any shaking or burning in the muscles, no problem. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Sapta again. Navasana. Calm, steady breathing. Allow a sense of joy. Enjoy the challenge. Never judge yourself. Just practice with a sense of equanimity, a sense of grace, peace, and harmony. Belly sucks in. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Sapta again. Navasana. Here we go. Straighten the legs. Use your thighs by pulling the thigh bones deeply into their sockets. Keep the belly sucked in. Straight arms, straight legs. No cheating. Don't go down. You can do it. Calm, even breath. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Sapta again. Navasana. Calm, even breath. Here we go. You can do it. Talk to yourself. Feel your hips grounding, the belly sucking in, the legs lengthening, joy coming into your heart. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Sapta again. Last time. Navasana. Belly sucks in. You can do it. Straighten the legs. Don't give up. Talk to yourself. Remain calm. Keep the mind steady. Hands down. Ashto. Inhale. Pick it up. Nava. Jump back. Go down. Dasha. Inhale. Upward facing. 
Ekadisha, exhale, downward facing. Bhuja Pidasana. Sapta, inhale, jump your hips over the shoulders, slowly wrapping your thighs around the outer edges of the upper arms, cross your feet. Ashto, exhale, send the chin down, shoulders forward, hips back. Calm the mind, gaze at the nose tip. Keep the hips a little lifted, belly in, shoulders firm. Nava, inhale, pick it up. Dasha, exhale, Bakasana. Ekadasha, jump back. Dwadasha, inhale, upward facing. Trayugdisha, exhale, downward facing. Kormasana position. Sapta, inhale, jump the hips over the shoulders again. Slowly moving the thighs onto the outer edges of the arms. And slowly exhale, flattening down. Make sure you get the elbows beyond the thighs. Squeeze your thighs on top of the shoulders. Spread your collarbone. Kormasana position. After you feel settled, lift the heels and then lift the hips by sending the hips back. Keep squeezing the thighs inward. Engage the quadriceps and press your shoulders down. Protect the collarbone. Relax. Coming into Supta Kramasana, you can either sit up, taking your left leg first behind your head, slowly moving around, and then the right leg reaches back and around. Let your feet do the work as they cross over each other. Once the feet are crossed, then slowly exhale as you lower yourself back down to the ground, forehead down. Ashto, lock back your hands, and Nava, lock your feet. You can interlock your fingers, grab your wrist whichever feels a firmer grip. Once you feel stable in the pose, you can point your toes. If your feet start to slide off after you point the toes, flex them again. Find a sense of calm, relax, breathe, tune into the inner body, calming the mind, drop your attention deeply down. Find a sense of rest, flex your feet again, hands to the ground, pick it back up. Walk your hands back, dasha, inhale, pick it up, keeping the feet crossed, after you lift it up, release your feet as you slowly come into balance. Ekadisha, exhale as you slowly roll through the hips back to Bakasana position. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayugdisha, inhale, upward facing. Chikturdisha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump through. Straight legs, sit down. Ashto, cross your feet, taking lotus position. Close your knee joint, that's right foot first, left foot on top, moving into Karpa Pindasana. Move your thighs into your body, and then reach your hands through that space between your calf muscle and your thigh, one and then the other. Taking the hands under the chin, reaching the fingers towards the ears. Balance. Make sure you balance on the space between your tailbone and your sitting bones, curling the spine slightly under. Gaze at the nose tip, calming the mind, little smile. Belly sucks in, here we go. Nava rounding, exhale back, inhale, roll up. Exhale back, inhale, roll up. Steer from the hips, back and up. Steer from the hips, roll back, take it up, little turning. Come on all the way back to the front. Exhale, roll back, inhale, roll all the way up, hands down. Nava, inhale, kukutasana. Shoulders forward, hips back and up. Use your lower abs to press it up. Squeeze the fingertips, gaze at the nose tip. Really lift it up and forward as you roll through the shoulders. Suck the belly as deeply in as you can. Exhale down. Take the hands out, keep your lotus if that's possible. Dasha, inhale, take it up. Ekadisha, exhale, jump back. Dwadisha, inhale, upward facing. Trayugdisha, exhale, downward facing. Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward. Bhada Konasana. Come on through. Prepare by bringing the heels into the body, knees out to the side. Keep the heels close to the groin. Then reach forward, thumbs onto the mounds of the big toe, spread your feet. Ashto, exhale, fold forward by sending your pubic bone back. Think about pulling the shoulders back, elbows back and up. Knees out to the side and rolling the hip joints back and down. Keeping the back as straight as possible, pivoting from the hip joints as you fold forward. Opening the soles of the feet upwards towards the inner space of the pelvis. Nava, inhale, come up. Dasha, exhale, Baddha Konasana B. Round your back. Curl the sitting bones under. Curl the tailbone under. Pull the pubic bone into the navel and round the back. Top of the head to the toes. 
gaze into the pelvic bowl and keep it nice and empty. Ikarisha, inhale, come up, exhale there, firm the pelvic floor. Knees come back into the center, hands to the ground. Dwarisha, inhale, to get up. Trayogdisha, jump back. Chakturadisha, inhale, upward facing. Panchadisha, exhale, downward facing. Upavishta Konasana, Sapta, inhale, jump all the way forward, coming through. Spread your legs apart into a V-shape. Reach around to the outer edges of your feet. Ashto, exhale, go down. Aiming your shoulders, your chest, your chin, or your forehead to the ground, but never pull on your feet. Instead, simply let it happen however it wants to happen, however deeply your body chooses to permit you today. Keep the legs engaged, pelvic floor inside, arms are soft, gaze at the nose tip. Firm your pelvic floor. Tuning into the inner body, calming the mind. Nava, inhale, exhale, release your feet, lean back. Dasha, inhale, pick it up, holding on to the outer edges of your feet, spread your legs and balance. Keep the belly sucked in, look all the way up, lift your chest powerfully up. Calm, steady breathing, spread your legs, hands down to the ground, cross your feet. Ekarisha, inhale, take it up. Dwarisha, jump back. Trayog disha, inhale, upward facing. Chiktur disha, exhale, downward facing. Supta Konasana. Sapta, inhale, jump forward. Weight into the shoulders, slide it all the way through. Exhale, lie down. Ashto, inhale, legs over your head, hold on to your big toes and spread your feet as wide apart as the distance of your shoulders will permit. Curl your toes under and press the toes into the ground. Keep the hips lifted up, feeling a sense of emptiness in the pelvic bowl. Calm, steady mind, gaze at the nose tip. Preparing to roll through the whole spine, bring your attention through each of the joints of the spine. Nava, inhale, roll all the way up and exhale gently down. Dasha, inhale, lift the head up. Exhale from your pelvic floor. Hands to the ground, cross your feet. Ekadisha, inhale, take it up. Dwadisha, jump back. Trayogdisha, inhale. Chakturadisha, exhale. Supta Parangustasana. Supta, inhale, jump through. Switch. All right, see you later.